It's your girl Nizzy Mac and I'm back on the track. Hey. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nizzy Mac and I'm back on the track, y'all. Yes, I got another slay, y'all. This one is some bomb curly hair. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I laid and slayed this shield. This is gonna be more of a talk through, something new on my channel, but yeah, for sure. I hope y'all here for it. So this hair was provided to me by Hair Spells, you guys. 100% virgin human hair. This is their uh, Brazilian Deep Wave. <clears throat> this is their Brazilian Deep Wave Curly Lace Front Wig. And this is a 13 by 6 lace front wig. As you guys see, it has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 combs, girl. Adjustable straps in the back. Just your typical wig cap and a tight-knit curl pattern. These curls are the bomb, okay? Get into it. This this is also 22 inches you guys so I know it seems a little bit short but you have to take into account that it is curly hair and it be shrinkage shrinkage is real okay um, so anyways here I am I'm showing you guys the unit on um, this unit is not big hair friendly yeah so I'm showing you guys on this unit um, what I'm doing here um, this is initially out of the box you guys um, I'm taking a hot comb to the part I did a middle part because um, because of how the unit was made it just looked better as a middle part i thought so i'm flat ironing that hairline and just getting that part as flat as i can um i did i did get this uh off amazon it's like 25 dollars so i'll leave the link down below for this hot pink one because yes us pink barbs love it okay so i had to go in and pluck the hairline because the hairline was rather dense you guys and i wasn't going for that look i kind of wanted it pulled up off my face a little bit with some baby hairs so i did have to go in and pluck the unit um and um i did have to go in and pluck the unit which is okay in my book you know i, I actually like plucking units so it wasn't too much for me but um yeah i went in and plucked the unit and as you guys can see um there is a major difference in plucking the unit you definitely want to be able to see you know through the lace that that gives the illusion of you know skin or whatever so plucked her down we're getting ready to uh, i'm getting ready to show you guys how i tinted her up uh for this video i did not want to tint the lace i was just being super lazy um just because this is was a middle part unit i'm like okay i'm gonna just go ahead and tint it so put it um upside put it put the unit on inside out on inside your unit your mannequin head and then i took some uh this fit me foundation um it's in my it's like a shade lighter than my skin tone so i went in with this brush i don't know where i got this brush from i just always use it for this but it's a very dense and coarse brush almost like a kabuki brush so um yeah i'm using that and i'm just putting it all over the lace um you really just need to use it like in the the part as well as the hairline but you know my uh, extra self i went ahead and did it like all over like <laughs> and then I went ahead and finished it off with um, some bed head spray uh, hairspray and I just laid it right on top of that um, I just sprayed it right on top of that foundation and then I went in with some powder foundation y'all um, and this is like a shade lighter than my skin tone also and I just went in on top of that and just pressed it in with the powder you want to press um, and it just kind of sets the foundation as well as it covers the knots just a little bit not as much as if it was bleached but you know just enough to get the job done and look like you know unclockable like y'all see here like this was real like a real quick and easy way to do it and um yeah it just for, for those days that you don't want to do all that extra stuff that's what we do doing so we're getting ready to install the unit i've been using this evan forever ultimate glue um it is way better than the um the got to be glue y'all like evan's new lace gluing uh products are bomb y'all like oh my god so i'm just coating a layer around my hairline and then i went ahead and put my air dryer on cool um, you want to put it on cool, not don't get it, don't let it dry completely, just let it get like a little bit tacky or whatever. And then I went in with their Wonder Lace Bond Spray, which is way better than the got to be the free, the freeze blast. <laughs> way better than that i sprayed that on and then put um some cool air to it also and then we ready to stick the lace down so this unit um was sticking a little bit crazy so i kind of had to like hold it and pull it and tug it and in the end i it wound up being crooked so don't clock me on this video y'all like the lace was crooked then a mug and i was not 
I was it was crazy <laughs> the lace wound it up being crooked so I definitely had to reinstall it um, for pictures and stuff because I'm like I am looking crazy but um, other than that y'all see how melted it is like it is on there sis is melted sis is laid sis is all that okay um, so I did go in and fix the extra part that you know was lifting sometimes you do have to do that and sometimes youtubers don't show you that they do that okay like it's it's times where it's gonna be little pieces that ain't you know coming up and stuff so <laughs> yeah now i'm going in with my little thing i got this from plush collection it just helps melt the lace a little bit more just add some elastic pressure to it now i'm just combing this hair out y'all this hair was like a mess to comb out but um once i got it combed out it was like a big animal has swallowed me up whole okay like she was like a mind of her own um but i'm just showing you guys combed versus uncombed um combed versus uncombed there's definitely a difference in this hair texture so definitely have to maintain this um so as you guys can see i took the uh elastic band off and we are melted we probably are gonna now we're gonna get into the baby hairs um i just wanted to do like some little intricate swoops i was like let me start off by doing um the two on the side but i noticed i kind of over plucked the middle so i'm like let me go ahead and you know do a middle baby middle baby hair swoop so i started doing the baby hairs and got all that good stuff so i'm not going to talk too much on this because i mean it's simple you know you do your baby hairs i am using got to be um in the black bottle to do my baby hairs and this little baby hair edge brush that i got from the beauty supply from like for like two dollars so i'm gonna let this ride and then we'll come back and talk about how i got the hair to stay in the correct curl pattern how to get those curls popping and all that good stuff so yeah make sure y'all stay tuned Okay, so now all the baby hairs are done. I did go in with my hot comb and just um, get that done because sometimes the hairspray makes the hair extra crispy and you have to go in and make it go the way that it's supposed to go. Um, so I went in and kind of like fixed that a little bit. And as you guys can see, it, it makes a little bit difference. Um, just, just a little bit. <laughs> so I tied that back down. Um, don't want your baby hairs to get wet while you guys are saturating your hair. So now it's time to get those curls popping. So I got my little continuous spray bo mist bottle. It's just water in here, you guys. So I just spraying that down, getting that nice and saturated. Um, and then I'm going ahead and using a wide tooth comb and I'm combing those curls out. Um, just like you would natural hair, you want to detangle it from the bottom to the top. So we are doing that, getting that detangled. And then I'm going in with Ebon Foaming Lotion. Y'all, they have this, which is the equivalent to the Nairobi um, uh, Foaming Lotion, which is like $15 to $20. This is actually like $5, $7. So yeah, um, this is a dupe for the Nairobi and I'm rocking with all of Ebon's products. Like I'm a fan, okay? <laughs> like, so I put the mousse on you guys and I am using my Curl Detangler. You guys might've seen this on Facebook. I had to pick this one up, girl. So it's the Curl Detangler. I'll leave it below if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it, it, it gets those curls popping. So you just wanna pull, the more tension you have when you uh, do it on the hair, the the more like the ends will pop so that's what you guys see me doing is just making sure that the hair is popping and I'm going in, I'm going in nice little large sections and um, you know just doing that repeating in itself adding the water then the mousse and detangling so that's what I'm doing all around my hair I did want to do a close-up you guys and show y'all you know that curl pattern like are y'all seeing that like this hair is popping okay like wow curl pattern on fleet so as you guys can see baby hair is done curls popping now it's just time to tint the lace a little bit i did go in with some concealer and add that into my part um just to lighten it up a little bit um and and um honey that was all we had to do i know i said all we had to do but that's the end of this video okay <laughs> so that was pretty much it this install was pretty easy because it, it is a closure wig i laid it like a closure wig um so this was pretty simple 
little install um you will have to pluck this unit if you get it but the curl pattern is to die for these curls is exotic girl these curls is juicy and luscious so let me know what y'all think about this hair spells unit is y'all feeling this one like i am let me know down in the comments and as always thank you for watching bye